Costa Rica, a land famed for its lush rainforests and vibrant wildlife, is facing a dramatic display of nature's raw power. This Central American paradise, known for its biodiversity and serene landscapes, is now witnessing a spectacle that is both awe-inspiring and terrifying. Poas Volcano, a towering presence in the country's heartland, has stirred from its slumber. This majestic volcano, which has been a silent guardian over the region for years, is now making its presence known in the most dramatic way possible. Recent weeks have seen a surge in volcanic activity, captivating scientists and striking fear into the hearts of nearby residents. The once tranquil landscape is now dominated by the sight of ash plumes and the sound of rumbling earth. From its perch high above the central valley, Poas is sending a clear message. The earth is restless. Scientists are working around the clock to monitor the situation, using advanced technology to predict what might happen next. Meanwhile, Local residents are being evacuated as a precautionary measure, their lives disrupted by the unpredictable forces of nature. Located approximately 30 kilometers north of San Jose, Poas is one of Costa Rica's most active volcanoes. Its iconic crater, a chasm of volcanic fury, has long drawn tourists and volcanologists alike. The crater, with its acidic lake and fumaroles, is a stark reminder of the raw power that lies beneath the Earth's surface. However the recent activity has surpassed the typical tourist spectacle, evolving into a cause for concern and a testament to the unpredictable forces at work beneath our feet. The increased seismic activity and frequent eruptions are a clear indication that Poas is far from dormant. The mountain is rumbling, the ground is shaking, and the air is thick with the scent of sulfur. For those who live in the shadow of Poas, this is a stark reminder of the power of nature and the ever-present threat of volcanic activity. The local communities are on high alert, and emergency services are prepared for any eventuality. As Poas continues to rumble and roar, it serves as a powerful reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet. The people of Costa Rica, resilient and resourceful, are facing this challenge with courage and determination. They know that living in such a beautiful and diverse land comes with its own set of risks and rewards. The story of Poas Volcano is a testament to the incredible forces that shape our world. It is a story of beauty and danger, of awe and respect for the natural world. As we watch this drama unfold, we are reminded of our place in the grand scheme of things and the power of the earth beneath our feet. Poas is a stratovolcano, a towering cone-shaped formation built up over millennia by layers of hardened lava, ash, and volcanic debris. This type of volcano is characterized by its steep profile and periodic explosive eruptions. The stratovolcano structure is a result of alternating layers of solidified lava flows, volcanic ash, and other volcanic rocks. These layers are deposited during different types of eruptions, creating a complex and often unpredictable geological formation. The Poas volcano with its imposing presence, stands as a testament to the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet's geology. Its history is a tapestry woven with threads of fire, punctuated by periods of relative calm. Over the centuries, Poas has experienced numerous eruptions, each contributing to its current form. These eruptions have varied in intensity and impact, from minor ash emissions to significant explosive events. The volcano's activity is closely monitored by scientists, who study its patterns to better understand the underlying mechanisms driving its eruptions. This ongoing research is crucial for predicting future activity and mitigating potential hazards. The volcano's main crater, a yawning maw nearly a mile wide, is a testament to its explosive past. This massive crater known as the Main Crater, is one of the largest active craters in the world. It is constantly changing with its shape and size being altered by ongoing volcanic activity. The crater's walls are steep and unstable, often collapsing and reforming as new eruptions occur. The floor of the crater is covered with a layer of volcanic ash and debris, creating a barren and otherworldly landscape. Within this crater lies Laguna Caliente, a hot, acidic lake that adds an eerie beauty to the scene, even as it serves as a constant reminder of the volatile forces at play. The lake's water is highly acidic, with a pH level close to that of battery acid, and its temperature can reach up to 90 degrees Celsius. The lake's color varies from a deep green to a milky blue, depending on the concentration of dissolved minerals and the presence of algae. The lake is often shrouded in steam and gas emissions, creating a surreal and haunting atmosphere. Poas has experienced numerous eruptions throughout recorded history, with the first documented event occurring in 1747. These eruptions have been recorded in various historical documents, paintings and photographs, providing valuable insights into the volcano's activity over the centuries. The historical records show that Poas has had periods of intense activity, followed by long intervals of dormancy. This pattern of intermittent eruptions is typical of stratovolcanoes, which can remain inactive for decades or even centuries before suddenly erupting again. Since then, the volcano has erupted on and off, with varying degrees of intensity. 
Some eruptions have been relatively minor, involving small explosions of ash and gas, while others have been more significant, producing large amounts of lava and pyroclastic material. The most recent eruptions have been closely monitored using modern technology, including satellite imagery, seismic sensors and gas analyzers. These tools allow scientists to track changes in the volcano's behavior and provide early warnings of potential eruptions. One of the most significant eruptions occurred in 1910, blanketing the surrounding area in ash and prompting widespread evacuations. This eruption was one of the largest in Poas's history, producing a massive ash cloud that spread over a wide area. The ashfall caused extensive damage to crops, buildings, and infrastructure, and many residents were forced to flee their homes. The 1910 eruption is a stark reminder of the destructive power of volcanic activity and the importance of preparedness and resilience in the face of natural disasters. While not as explosive as some of its counterparts, POAS has earned a reputation for its frequent phreatic eruptions, events driven by the interaction of magma and water, resulting in violent explosions of steam, ash, and rock. These phreatic eruptions are particularly dangerous because they can occur with little warning, making them difficult to predict and prepare for. The interaction of magma and groundwater creates a buildup of pressure that is suddenly released in a powerful explosion, sending steam, ash, and rock fragments high into the air. Despite their relatively small size, phreatic eruptions can cause significant damage and pose a serious threat to anyone in the vicinity of the volcano. Beginning in late January 2025, scientists at the Volcanological and Seismological Observatory of Costa Rica, Ofsicori, observed a marked increase in activity at POAS. Laguna Caliente, the crater lake, became a cauldron of volcanic unrest. The water level dropped significantly, a telltale sign of increased heat and pressure building beneath the surface. Phreatic eruptions, some reaching heights of 200 meters, became increasingly frequent, sending plumes of ash and steam into the atmosphere. Adding to the concern, scientists detected a surge in sulfur dioxide emissions. This pungent gas, a hallmark of volcanic activity, reached alarming levels, prompting concerns about air quality and potential health risks for those living downwind. The air grew thick with a sulfurous haze, a constant reminder of the invisible threat posed by the reawakened volcano. A country on edge volcanic unrest spreads across Costa Rica. The unrest at Poas is not an isolated incident. Reports from across Costa Rica suggest an unsettling trend of increased volcanic activity. Several other volcanoes long dormant are showing signs of awakening, their once peaceful slopes now marred by cracks and fissures. Seismic monitors, the silent sentinels of the Earth's movements, have picked up an increase in tremors and earthquakes, adding to the sense of unease gripping the nation. While details remain scarce, the reports paint a concerning picture of a country on edge. Evacuations are underway in communities deemed at risk, and emergency services are on high alert. The situation serves as a stark reminder of Costa Rica's position along the Pacific Ring of Fire, a zone of intense seismic and volcanic activity encircling the Pacific Ocean. A world of fire global volcanic activity in context. The volcanic rumblings in Costa Rica are not unique. They are part of a much larger global phenomenon that has been shaping our planet for millions of years. Around the world, from the icy expanse of Russia to the tropical paradise of Hawaii, volcanoes are making their presence known. These natural wonders are not just isolated events. They are part of a dynamic system that affects the entire globe. In the shadow of Russia's towering Kamchatka Peninsula, Bezimiani volcano erupted with a fiery display of ash and lava. This eruption is a stark reminder of the raw power that lies beneath the Earth's crust, capable of altering landscapes and impacting global weather patterns. Across the Pacific, Kilauea, the famed Hawaiian volcano, continues its relentless outpouring of molten rock, reshaping the landscape with each passing day. The lava flows from Kilauea have created new land, destroyed homes, and even changed the course of rivers. Even the depths of the Aegean Sea are not immune to the Earth's fiery breath. Underwater volcanoes, though less visible, play a crucial role in the geological activity of our planet. They contribute to the formation of new seafloor and can trigger tsunamis. Off the coast of Greece, Colombo, an underwater volcano, has shown a marked increase in seismic activity, prompting concerns about a potential eruption and triggering evacuations from nearby islands. The potential for underwater eruptions adds another layer of complexity to our understanding of volcanic activity. The global surge in volcanic activity serves as a reminder of the interconnectedness of our planet and the powerful forces at work beneath its surface. These eruptions are not just local events, they have the potential to impact global climate, air travel, and even human health. Understanding and monitoring these volcanic activities is crucial for predicting future eruptions and mitigating their effects on human populations and the environment.